course, you do realise in about 100 years' time, when we're all, whatever we are, somebody will be, they'll be looking back, what were they doing during these times? And they'll think, we've got this right miserable group here, look, they never talk, they never have a laugh, they just do their exercises. We don't record what we don't want people not to hear. All right, a little bit of Del Boy, guys. Let's get that going left and right. A little exaggerated Del Boy. Get the body weight transferred left. And that's what it's all about. And as we transfer the body weight, relax that knee down. Let it be a bit of a shock absorber. Look, I'm doing a bit of Tom Jones now. Here we go. Bit <laughs> of granddad dancing first thing in the morning. Three, two, and one. Little stop. Three, nice Keep the movement going, breaths. Hands up and out, turn them up and breathe in. Down to the heart, squishing it out. Turn up, breathe in again. Exhale down to the heart, squishing it out. Turn up again. And then as we bring it down, guys, the sat point, nice and gentle, no big pressure on these fingertips, the palms of the hands, thumbs above the sternum, and going through that posture check, curl the toes up, place them back down the floor. Have a look at the feet. Do the old hang, hangle, the hand, the hand template, with the thumbs, have they got the right angle on the feet? Knees just off lock, 30%. Bows of a ship out the ocean or string out the chest and just standing nice and tall but relaxed and focused and letting the brain cells switch on. Mine, your normal size brain. Okay, squish the hands out that position there and slowly increase it to try and touch those wall to the side. It's a good job I opened my eyes because now I can bring in Ali. <laughs> keep your eyes open in the class too. All right, there. Keep pushing out, keep pushing out, keep pushing out, keep pushing out. Now rotate the hands towards the ceiling. This is where we, we are stretching, guys, slowing stuff down, rotating, right that there's rotating cuff like this. But we open up the little finger and the thumb. You know by the construction of the hand, which I sent the picture out to you the other week, the hand and technology is in there that God put in there many, many millions of years ago. Keep rotating, take the hands around. Keep rotating, work it. We want to feel that in the biceps. We feel it in the abdominal area, the back muscles, all the upper body's working super hard. We're just rotating the hands to the rear. Big deep breath in, you know what's coming next. Exhale down to the heart. The elbows are coming up nice and parallel to the floor, or high as we call it, fingertip to palm of the hand. This is a 15 second push in, 80% go. There. And now that we would normally stop there, but we're going to keep that going, guys. You might get your tremors going through. Remember, if you're not used to isometrics, I know someone will call or press and play later. You squeeze in for 100% maximum, ease it back off again. Three two, one. Now relax that down and give it a good shake out. We need those good habits. Rub the back of the wrist, Mexican wave with the fingers. We're getting the upper body working and the heart rate respiration rate is up already. Let's do the chest pull. Only two isometrics to do in 15 seconds. So we're there. Hook the hands over. This way you're thinking, oh, I wish I'd have cut my nails, not just filed them last night and painted them a different colour. That's what me and Wayne are thinking anyway. Ready? Go. Pull now. There. So I went for 100% and I eased it off gently to about 80. On the chest pull, upper body, it's going down through the glutes and down through the legs, the core, deep core's working, abdominal muscles coming in, 80% all the way, just holding it there. Nice, relaxed breathing throughout, two and a one, and relax that down, good habits, shake it out. Mexican weight back to the wrist, guys. We've never opened up a second one stretch with one of those, looking good, okay? Fantastic. So let's lock the thumb out, rotate those shoulders forwards and then to the rear again. We all like having a slow wake up and a slow start to stuff, but every so often we've got to get in there a bit sharpish, okay? So important we, we practice these things. Keeps the body all conditioned. All right. Any leg you want to, excuse me, Viv, milk and banana. Any leg you want to, bring it forwards and we want that leg nice and straight. Hands to the hips. Pull the toe towards the shin. Now we're working this one. 15. Pull the toe towards the shin. That's the first part stretch, breaking this one down. I can feel the tibia anterior, your shin muscle, if you like, working super hard down front leg. Now big deep breath in. Exhale and over to your long 15 straight away, guys. There. Now I'm at long 15, and if I take it any further, I don't want it to go to 16. So I'm keeping it like a, a long number. So it's 13, 14, 15, and I'm on the end. Big deep breath in. 
Exhale, and I'm keeping the chest now, millimeter by millimeter, coming down towards the floor. Keep the toe pulled towards the shin. Want to be working it this morning, pulling it upwards. Nice big development stretching. Breathe in again. Exhale, and all we're going. We're not going to stick with the same leg. We're going to do three positions, but we're going to come to the other leg because the standing leg's working super hard. Two and a one, and slowly reset and bring that back upwards again. Now, we can do this session this morning because of all the condition we've been doing. Could have done this a year ago, eight, certainly not two years ago, because your standing leg is taking a lot of the stress and the strain, okay? All right, so, and it's stronger now, and that's what we can do, it's stability. Other leg coming forwards, there. Toe to the shin, hands on the hips to there. So really pull that toe towards the shin now. Tibial anterior working hard. The standing leg, you're not even going to stop, it's not going to feel a bit tired or anything, but it's taking all the body weight. So keep pulling that toe towards the shin, toe towards the shin. Suzanne, I know you just come into the room. Ed, we're doing long stretches this morning. You work to your own scores of 15 when you think that's it for me. You ease off that stretch in your own time, okay? If you need to, pull the toe towards that shin. Hands, hips, big deep breath in. Exhale. Now with hands to the hips, that's acts as a hinge. We bend in four, score to the long 15s. So 13, 14, 15, and on the end. <laughs> and keep the toe pulled toward the mat. I'm pulling my toe so much towards the shin. I'm, the toes are actually, big toe especially, is curling up towards the toe. And that's definitely a long 15 in the back of the leg. Big deep breath in again. <sighs> Exhale, and bend forwards again. Now we've got that in the lower back. L1 to L5 sections, working up the spine. The spine is working down the body. Remember, because you're conditioned, we can hit the body like this, and it's going to accept it. One more time, breathe in. Exhale. And if we get any lower, my nose is going to touch the floor. My fault for having a Pinocchio nose. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale. And we slowly bring that back up, guys. Good habits. And shake it out. And as we stand up, that's when you're going to feel the tissues have opened up. The heart rate will increase slightly, especially the ventricles start pumping more blood around the body. And you think, you know what? Now I can feel the work. I can feel certainly in the cast at the same time. Now, three positions. Back to the first foot that we did, wherever when you step forwards, onto the heel, pull the toe towards the shin. We're going to rotate the foot to the outside, but we keep a nice straight line. Don't bend over towards the angle of the foot that's there. So rotate to the outside. Now you've got your maximum there, pull the toe towards the shin and increase that rotation. I bet you get a bit more movement because we've all become accustomed to taking it out to a certain angle. Oh, that's good. I'll just let it relax there. We want a bit of physical effort now, pushing it to the outside, working. Keep rotating it around, rotating around. Hands, hips, big deep breath in. Exhale and over we go. There. So when I said at the beginning, we're just going to stick on the stretch. I bet you're thinking, oh, nice, easy stretch in class. Ha ha. Okay. Big deep breath. Exhale. Over we go again. Now you're going to feel because the legs rotated outwards. It's not your thigh on the other leg. It is your shin and the lower leg was taken a lot. Keep rotating the foot outwards. You're going to feel that right up into where your IT band goes into your glutes. This is actually really good if you suffer from anything like sciatica or you need a piriformis stretching out, even though we're going the other way. Big inhale, inhalation. Exhale and slowly come back upwards. And again, now you might start to feel around the lower back here. The muscles are getting a little bit, oh, it's where the origins and insertions are. They're working really hard, guys. So a nice shake out. Bit of a plash on the feet. Sometimes that can be as good as a stretch. That's when you want to get stuff going, get the juices flowing around the body. Other foot forwards then, here, there. And you drink, a couple of you went and got a drink then, well done. A sip anytime you want to. Pull that toe towards the shin and rotate the other foot all the way out as far as you can. Now, without me saying it, hopefully, You've increased it. So you're focusing now on the rotation. Really taking it out. And you can feel the glutes start to engage, especially your gluteus maximus and minimus, right into the deep part of the butt. Inhale, hands, hips. Exhale, and over we go. There. And keep that rotation going out. Increase it on the front leg and pull the toe towards the shin. We really want to feel that, guys, working right with those muscles. The heart rate's coming, respiration is coming up as well. We're actually burning calories on this, and it's going up to your lats. The big latissimus dorsi, side of the chest, your breathing, accessory muscles. There. Inhale. 
Exhale, let's increase that, bending forwards, keep the rotation of the foot going outwards, work it, work it, work it, be a bit of stretching machine this morning, for a reset, breathe in, exhale, and up we come. We're getting pretty close to 15 minutes, guys, and we've done about 13 and a half minutes of stretching, more or less the same area all the time, redeveloping it and taking that, so one more either side, that's when the foot comes in, we're going to work the rotation, so if you start to develop, a bit of a cramp in the hip flexor area there. You ease it back off. If you have to, just stand up and wiggle those hips around, okay? But not many people get that anymore. Back to the first foot. Oh, sounds like New Year, doesn't it? Okay, only six months away. Pull the toe towards the shin. Now rotate the foot inwards on that heel. Now, take it now. When you do that, you're going to feel the body work. It's going to stop doing that. It will rotate round, but you keep a nice straight angle here, whites of the eyes, okay? Rotate it again, breathe in, exhale. This is where we all feel a little bit duck toe, don't we? Do I walk like that, we're thinking. Over we go, now rotate inwards. Keep rotating, you're gonna get, like when we do a stretch, it's gonna give and give, get more of a rotation. And this is fantastic, I can't say it enough, for your neck of femur, the big ball socket joint on the top of the femur, guys. The one where as we get older, we get lots of little natural damage there, wear and tear. It's keeping it nice and healthy. Big deep breath in. Exhale, we're bending forwards a bit more. I'm rotating that foot inwards a bit more, pulling the toe towards the shin. I'm actually getting a little bit of shakes going on because the, slope, the fast twitch fibers are working super hard. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, and up we come. And shake it out. And we're starting to feel now, <laughs> we're stretching. We're out of breath. I'm getting Morrison's shopping trolley legs feeling a bit fortnightly or two week. Okay. All right. Other foot coming forwards. There. Last one. This one goes to bed. Ready? Toe towards the shin. Rotate it inwards now, all the way. And you'll feel the body wanting to rotate round. It will slide. You can't stop it. We'll keep the upper body there, nice straight line. Hands, hips, breathe in. Exhale, over. Now, these, we've done these stretches, combinations, different ways. But we've done them a lot. This is the first time we've done it. We took it really over and got the rotation and joined that. And if you notice, we're joining dots in the past few weeks where we've done a, 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 just a session where it's just rotation. Was that last week before? Just rotating all that joints and muscles and everything. Big deep breath in. Let's increase this. Pull that toe inwards up towards the shin. Bending forwards a little bit more. Feeling the stretch in places we never thought we had two. And a one breathe in. Exhale, and we slowly stand back up and shake everything out. So we're going to join those dots together again. Now, legs and your knees, you're going to feel, oh, they're not feel, not painful, they don't feel tired, don't feel weak. It's just you can feel the joints have worked nice and hard, but they've been protected, you're nice and strong. Could we do isometrics? Your ligaments and tendons are nice and strong. We know why we have palms of the hands, because they fit on the kneecaps. Feet, foot, feet uh, hip width apart, in railway tracks nice and straight. Put those hands on, palm the hand onto the knees. And just take the weight there. Now let the butt stick out to the rear, like your granddad warm on his backside on the fire. We've all seen that when we are growing up. <laughs> My priest, still looking at the granddad doing it now. Okay, so we've got that triangle shape made between the hands, the hips, and the shoulders. Let the lower back relax. Let it relax. Now from there, and don't look at me, look gently down to the floor, natural position. Start rotating those knees around and let the feet go around the outside. So instep, outstep, no concrete boots on. I'm going heel, toes, insteps, outsteps, all the way. And get as low as you can now. Get as low as you can. Good, you know what little saying is, on the toilet, off the toilet, stick a butt out to the rear. Nice and low, now take it back around the other way. And you want to get nice and low as you can, guys, working this around, nice big circles at the same time. So all the joints we've just been working, all the ones we've stretched out, we're getting a nice rotation put in. Three, two, and a one. And we slowly stand back up, gently shake everything out. We stretched and rotated. Bring the hands to here. We want to get that gentle leaning back feeling and just raise those knees up and try and get the knees to the forearms. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You get to your maximum, and that's all we can ask for, guys, and that is good, it's all okay. There. Why lean back? Because you're gently getting the freedom back feeling, you're at your correct posture and looking good. 
Fantastic, hands coming down to the hips. Now as we go up and out, slow it down and take the knees way outwards. Now some must practice uh, balance a lot and we're getting good at it. Sometimes we have an off day. If you want to touch something, touch your chair, keep your balance or anything you can do, guys. That's all okay as well. Knees nice and high, all the way around, nice and high. As high as you get with knees and big circles to the rear. Now outwards to inwards, there. So use the Nordic walkers. This is a lot more exaggerated than when we've got our poles before we do warm up. All development stuff, taking the leg way to the rear and then to the front nice and high. That's control, balance and focus at the same time. Last one there. And last one here, pause, hold, feel the breath up. That's how hard you're working. Calorie burning big muscles. Let's get a nice big deep breath in. First is only the one. Here we go. Up, out, turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Good. Okay. We're going to get some nice, fresh air in there. We're going to get rid of the old gases we've built up in our lungs, guys, from working these tissues. Take the hands towards, palms towards me. Get nice and comfy on the floor, right? Hands to the front there. When I say we're going to blow out really hard, then I'll say inhale. We come to the double voice welcome sign. Follow me along. We hold when I say go. Bring the hands back to the front. Nice big clap as you blow out. Ready? Blow out now. <sighs> inhale. Hold. Go. There. Good. Lateral thoracic breathing. Nice and in the body. One more time. Blow out hard. Inhale. Go. And then arc it down. Can you imagine what would happen if the internet froze at that very point? You're all stuck like that, breathing in. We'd be like, what's going on? Okay, good stuff. Shake the hand out, guys. Lock the thumb. Rotate the shoulders forwards. Let's move it up the body, shall we? Rotate the shoulders to the rear. Working hard and breaking everything down. And one of the best ones for that one is upper body. Daily cheese wedge shape. Shoulders rotate the cuff. Base of skull. Point your finger out to here, guys. And get this arm up and wrapped around that shoulder as far as you can get it. We're getting one right up, way up to there, look, okay? First movement, concrete suit on. Whites of the eyes looking at each other, breathe in. Exhale, just pull that arm across the body and rotate at the same time. And that is a bigger stretch. We said this thousands of times, haven't we? Don't exaggerate a thousand and one. You're getting a bigger stretch on this one than the average person you'll see out in the streets on their runs in the park, etc. Take the concrete jacket off, breathe in. Exhale, look at your pointy finger and pull that arm around a little bit more. There. Now take the concrete trousers off, leave the boots on, breathe in. Exhale and take it around a bit more. Now take the concrete boots off, breathe in. Exhale. Put your skis on, guys, and pull that as round as far as you can. Look how far we're getting this morning. I can almost see you. I'm going to do a full rotation. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale and bring it back around again. Let's point that finger out. Circle the arm around. Don't stand static on the same point in the floor. Move it around. Move your feet around. There. Little Del Boy left and right. Chance on the body weight. Good. We're going to come back to the same hand again. So set yourself up. No concrete on the body. Point your finger. Get that arm away. Can we get a bit further? A little bit higher. All the way around. Big deep breath in. Exhale and round we go. In steps to out steps. Swing it around, guys. Get to your maximum. Then that's a thoracic breathing. And hold for three, two, one. Breathe in. Exhale. We unwind. Keep the hand there. One more. Pointing at one another, big deep breath in. Exhale and round we go in a digestive system like in this one. All the way around, all the way around. Now pull that arm. We can get a bit further than that. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, unwind and circle that arm around. Now you should be feeling the biceps feel like they're working. We're starting to feel like we've actually had our resistance bands out. We've been doing a bit of a lively one on the beam. That's all of the how we're doing development stretching and working it hard this morning, guys. So getting set up, same thing, other side. 
pointy finger coming out. Get that arm. I stretch it up to here. I stretch and then I wrap it all the way around. There. Good. Concrete truck suit fully on, including socks with the boots and laces. Breathe in. Exhale. Right, we go. The only thing we haven't got, we haven't got a concrete hat yet, have we? <laughs> Let's see what we can do. We'll have the wardrobe doors hanging off. We're not careful. Okay, take the jacket off. Breathe in. Exhale, look at that middle finger and rotate it a bit more. Keep the hips square on facing one another because we've got our trousers on until now. Take them off, breathe in. Exhale, we can increase it a little bit more, but we've got our concrete boots on, the feet are flat on the floor. Take those off, breathe in. Put your skis on, exhale, and rotate that body round. Dairy Lee cheese wedge shapes, other ones are available, but not as good as Dairy Lee. Keep moving it round, big deep breath in. Exhale, unwind, bring it back round to me. I know it's hard work, guys. Now be a machine. Ready? Rotating all the way around. Breathe in. Exhale, around we go. All the way, all the way, full on. Oh, can we get a bit more out of that? Breathe in. Exhale, round we come, unwinding. I'm sweating. Breathe in. Exhale, round we go again. All the way. All the way, a nice easy one coming after this one. Two and a one. Breath in, exhale, unwind, bring it back around. And this time, chinooks, guys, both arms, but get those arms nice and long. Big, it's bonfire night. You've got sparklers in your hands. Big circles all the way around, reaching out all the way, all the way. And if you take it back around the other way, about two and three quarters, one direction. How many? It doesn't matter. You might do one or two. I might open my eyes and see people doing hundreds. Just don't do a billy whiz. All the way. That's my last one. And I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to hold the thumb and rotate it around. One more upper body and we're going to start joining stuff together, okay? Join their dots. Oh, hang on. Lot me ticket later today. All right. So from there, guys. Freddie Mercury, point upwards to there and reach up. Now push up, try and touch the ceiling. Keep pushing upwards. Good. What we're going to do next, we're going to bend that arm to the rear. We're going to take this hand to there. Breathe in. Exhale. And we're going to push that arm to the rear. There. You know what? When we first, I said this the other week, didn't I? When we first started doing this, we had people with their hands on in front of their heads because they, were, they couldn't push their arm that far back. Everybody's there now. Big tricep, guys. Now breathe in. Exhale and push again. Try to put pressure on the head, on the back of your head with that arm pushing to the rear. Because then you just, you, you're putting up pressure and building up anxiety in the neck muscles. Don't want that. Feel that into the tricep. Oh, it's like in that one. Two and a one. And we relax that back down. Now, a lot of people say about muscles in the groups. They'll say, Tug, I want to, how can I tighten this one up here? It? Stretching tightens your muscles up as much as it needs to as actually doing it. If we were to do a tricep press with a big heavy weight, stretching that muscle is keeping it as fit and healthy as anything, and that's going to keep it nicely conditioned, guys. Other hand. Freddie Mercury first. So we're getting two for the price of one here, aren't we? Push that pointy finger up. Nice big stretch. Doesn't that feel good? There. Keep it going, keep it going. Now lower it down to the rear. Bring the other hand up onto the elbow, and we push it to the rear. There. Oh, that feels good. The trust is a bit like the calf muscle. At first you do and you think, well, that's all right. And then the stretch initiates after 10 seconds or so. Big deep breath in. Exhale. And I'm pushing that arm. Now, this takes some work and strength. I appreciate that. Pushing the arm to the rear because we can't move that to get that stretch. But to be effective, we have to push the arm to the rear through the elbow for two and a one. And we relax that back down. Oh. What does that feel like with the shoulders? Lock the thumbs out. Rotate to the front and rotate to the rear. By now, we should be thinking, good oh, grief. This is a big stretch. Can we do some Pilates next time? Yes, we can. We'll get back to another routine next week. Our second one stretch. Okay, building this one up. Three positions. First one's nice and easy. Feet hip width apart. Railway tracks so the feet are nice and straight. Hands to the hips. And just rotate those hips. Around. I told you it's an easy one, couldn't, didn't I? So imagine it's a hula hoop. Inside the hula hoop, round we go. Remember the days when you woke up Christmas morning, all your mum and dad got was a hula hoop? 
and an apple and an orange in the sock. Take that crap the other way. Good. Round we go. I used to live at Jan John, middle of the road. Round we go, guys. Good. Nicely round. Three, two, and a one. So we're working, working, working. Make that hula hoop bit hula hoop. Hula hoop bigger. Hula hoops are down the problem, aren't they? All right. Look at your right foot. Step forward twice. So look where your big toe is. Put the heel there. One and two. But we want railway tracks because you want to be up lateral part of the hips. Hands to the hips. Here we go. Now, when we did this before, hands on the kneecaps and rotated round, we thought about getting low. Think about getting low now. We're bringing this really up to you. You're actually doing a bit of a figure of eight with the hip area. Round we go. There. Join dots, getting the midriff working. Join dots with the shoulders and the legs, legs and shoulders. Take it back around the other way. It doesn't matter which direction you start off with either. Nice and steady it goes. Round we go, guys. Big circles inside the hula hoop. One more half for me. And I'm done. Oh, I've got a click there. I'll bring that foot in. I'll be a bit careful. I thought somebody else had come into the room and had Shaking it out. Good. Other foot. So first off, delbow, transfer the body weight. Make sure your feet are set up here with the part nice and straight. Look at the other foot. Step forward one. And we step forward two. Ready? And circle that around. There. Everything, so hip circles, easy. Can you feel the energy you're putting into this? The hamstrings, the adductors, the hip area, the lower pelvic floor, digestive system. It's really deep into the core. It's working up the back. Focus, concentration, and breathing all go happen at the same time and cardiovascular. Take it around the other way. We're working across the grain of the muscle as well. We stretch them out long ways. Now we're taking them around and expanding them. There. Good. We do all angles and dangles, don't we? Eh? Round we go. Last one. We can feel the calf in that one as well. And I pause and hold and bring it back. Can you feel it in the abdominal area as well, guys? Working right through. Now shake it all out. Three breaths. Here we go. Get a good stance on the floor. Hands up and out. Turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Squish out. Keeping the motivation going. Keeping the motion going. Up we go. Exhale down and that nice flowing movement. Squish it out. Turn the hands up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. We're going to pause and hold. Now we're going to work this one. Get the feet set up. Watch the toe. Now, Get your hands like that, the template for your feet. No railway tracks on the last one. And bring the feet so they're at the correct angle. We're like, God did that, not me. He did that, made our body so we know how to stand properly in the Pilates class. Thank you, Lord. All right. Now look at your right tone. Step forward three times. One, two, three. That's a long stance. I appreciate that. Now we don't follow that leg. We stay nice and straight to here. Hand to the hip. And around we go there. Now the feet are in the more than natural position because we've extended it out. That's what we've done that for. Sometimes it's your railway track and all that. But round we go. Because in everyday life, if your foot comes out to keep that balance, this is where you're going to fly that foot out so you don't fall over. You're going to engage all these muscles and the ones that are stretching out now and all working together. All these muscle trains are working together through the body from the base of your skull to your toes. Take it back around the other way, guys. Now circle it round there. Nice and slow, getting as deep as we can. Nice and deep. And let the feet go to insets and outsets if they want to. There. Good. Last circle. Round we go. And we bring that back there and shake it out. The other thing what you're going to get from this is when your feet are out there, when you recover, it's getting that foot back to here again. That speed and agility, that elasticity of the muscles. You've got good elasticity and you're going to get that leg flying back again, all right? So let's get set up. Little delbow transfer in the body weight, left and right. Template for the feet. Are they in the correct position? Looking good. Other foot, look where the big toe is. We place it three times with the heel. One and two and three. I'm frothing the mouth, guys. <laughs> it's, you can see on the T-shirt, I'm enjoying this one. Here we go, hands the hips and circle that around. Now, what we can do is you can start thinking, going a bit too quick on this one. Remember, it's a stretch. It's a really deep stretch. So feel what's happening there. Adductors, hamstrings, glutes, origins and insertions. The thing we talk about there, we do about isometrics. Working it all the way around, getting nice and deep. We've got a figure of eight going on at the same time. There. I'm taking it back around the other way now. Change angles and change direction. Round we go. There. Working it hard. 
But like in any class, guys, I've got some nice, gentle, slow ones coming up after this. Three, and two, and a one. And we're going to squish that foot back in and a nice shake out. Okay, let's put in some Pilates, I'll show you. Let's do our classic, get the spine going, the old bicycle chain, guys. Three of these follow me along, get the body weight correct, stand nice and tall, and above all, it's Saturday, feel proud of yourselves, all right? Doing good stuff. Hands to the thighs, big deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, hands sliding down the front of the body, kneecaps down to the shins, middle fingers in front of the toes. Apply some pressure on the floor, chin to the chest, look behind us. Think cat stretch, lateral thoracic breathing. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale and slowly coming up. And the cardiovascular system is saying, thank you. I thought I was being left out there for a second. Now get nice, upright and tall. Again, the one where you're feeling, look at me. I look good. I feel good. No, we don't. I look fantastic. I feel fantastic. Nice and tall. Hands back to the front of the thigh, breathe in. <sighs> Exhale, chin to the chest, corner down, slight pressure on the thighs and the body all the way down, protecting the lower back. Don't worry if the knees bend, it doesn't matter. Middle fingers in front of the toes now. Chin to the chest, cat stretch. Hold this position, big deep breath in this time. <sighs> Exhale, doesn't that feel good? Don't the legs feel fantastic this morning? Look at that, good. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale and up we come. Even my old footballer's legs are straighter this morning than any other. Good. I'm building up to a nice cup of BB special coffee, by the way. Hint. Okay, hold that there, guys. Last one. Hands from the thighs, big deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, chin to the chest. Again, you know it's the last one, so it's quite easy to speed it up too much. We don't. We want to be nice, focused, controlled. Hands down in front of the shins, top of the foot, in front of the big toe. Push down, middle fingers, body weight, pushing through the arms, chin to the chest. Cat stretch. Hold that position, big deep breath in. Exhale. Oh, feeling good. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, slowly coming back up, uncoiling. Nice, clean. Chain coming out, a good clean bucket of oil on a bright summer day with a blue sky. Carry those hands on up the body, squish them out, turn them up and breathe in. And exhale down to the heart, pause. And hold it there, looking good. We're going to do our breathing again, guys. Three, but we're going to hold it longer. The screen will not freeze. It'll be between six and eight seconds, okay? So don't think I've got Pinocchio nose on and just having a bit of a laugh. It's going to be a bit longer. So, comfortable. Bring the hands to here. There. Blow out now as much as you can go. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Hold it there. Hold. Hold it there. Go. <sighs> and hold up to so sideways on, look. And that position there. Nice and relaxed. Legs like shock absorbers, the way God designed them. Ready, blow out again. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Tall. To a voice welcome. Hold, 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 hold. Go. <sighs> there. That's all thoracic breathing. Nice and steady. One more of those. Exhale now. Inhale. Hold, hold, focus, focus. Go. Then stand up, shake it all out, guys. Good habits. Rotate the shoulders, wiggle about, get yourself a sip. You've got your water or your juice with you, or your magic juice, hopefully. Shaking it all out. Good, looking good. All right. Feet hip width apart. Last one of these. Step forward, a nice long lunge. Off we go there. So bring the feet out if you need to keep that balance. Hold that there. Hands to the hips. Hands up and out. The most welcome, lean back. Lean back, keep that balance. Finish with our hip flexors. 
and the back working hard, looking good, two and a one, come back upright and stand, arc the hands down, bring the feet in and another long step out, guys. Nice long lunge, as long as you can make it where you're comfortable, bring the feet out, hands up and out. I've seen that. <laughs> Who did he see? Who did he see? And hips lean backwards, double voice welcome, double voice welcome. Good, fantastic. Two and a one and we're back upright and we're there. Let me check the clock before, uh, you know what, I've got zillions more and my brain's going mad. How can we get them all in? Well, we can't, which means we've got to come back next week and we're going to be here through the week and the weekend. The most important thing now is for you to all to go away and have a fantastic and a safe weekend. Those of you doing some catch up or recovering from COVID, keep it down, do a couple at a time. Don't overdo it, okay? 50, 60% maximum. Take the hands up and out to there. Second most important thing, clap that 3,000, because I think you deserve it this morning. One, two, three, go. Yes. Brilliant, guys. Enjoyed that. Worked super hard. Brilliant. Good. Bye, Enough everyone. Said. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye